Welcome to Caffeinator's Gift Log, where I talk and gifts play. Ha <laughs> ha, prepare for your mind to be blown away. Kaboom, baby. Hello, YouTube. Hello, Facebook. Hello, the world overall. My name is Morgan James Does Games, and uh, today I'm going to talk to you about the five writing tips that I have when it comes to creating my stories or maps or... Uh, Unfinished games, which there are many. Oh, 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 I'm sad now. All right, the first being always have a theme. A theme is something that can be cool. Myself, I start from nothingness. Literally, just the first thing that pops in my mind. I'm like, okay, it takes place here, here, or here. And so far, it seems to be working on a scale that I have not seen before. Number two, because I'm kind of highly inconsistent, um, always use the buddy system. Every writer, there, there are two schools of thought when it comes to writing a story. Either there's just a single character, or there are many characters. Now, the important thing to know here is that even if there is just a single character, there is only, there are always going to be two characters. Uh, the first is the protagonist and the antagonist. The antagonist can be the protagonist in the theme, in the uh, memories of someone that they love, the memories of someone that they kill that's coming back to haunt them. The land itself, nature, animals, something, anything, the, the moon falling down on the planet. Literally, it can be absolutely anything at all. Myself, I usually go in the favor of the more characters the better, because the more characters I have, the more varied the story is. Number three. And the antagonist. The antagonist is vitally important. It can be absolutely anything you want as long as it tries to slow or stop entirely the progress of the protagonist. Now it can be anything from an uh, ideology if, or a physiological um, obstruction or something. Something that slows the progress of the protagonist down. Now this is monumental. And there won't my train of fucking thought. Okay, well, there are two other things that I really want to get into, but apparently my brain decided to switch off. So, thank you so much for watching, and uh, as always, I will give you in the next video. Bye bye. I think I just totally ripped up the bars. No!